Hello guys. My name is Spanish Bob. I have the secret sauce for you guys, this is how we do it. Unos dos tres guster. This will burn down al BBS in no time. I love American Barbecue. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Hey guys, my name is Bob Loon, 
and you're watching Daka Dudes, episode 2. Today we're taking a look at the Worcester. And if you're seeing correctly, yes, there are four Worcesters on the, our team. And uh, yeah, that it, it's, it's pretty obnoxious. Um, of course, we were three guys playing together as the Worcester. That's the whole premise of this series, I guess. But we were lucky enough in one of our last games of the evening to meet one of our fleet mates, Edwin Levi, who was <laughs> also playing the Worcester. Well now, the chances of this happening is just... It's its too low. I i, don't, I didn't even know... Like, I, I thought the matchmaker would be like, no, four of the same ship is too much. But um, <laughs> apparently not, and I was very happy. Uh, if I had recorded the Discord, Discord call, you guys Whoa. would be hearing... Well, especially me, but all of us That's laughing good. maniacally, knowing that... One or two enemy BBs on this team would get completely annihilated. And uh, yeah, that's also what happened. So uh, <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys. So right, right here I'm just pinging the gearing because normally I would have went with him to uh, support him. And you should always support your DDs when they push in as a cruiser player. But uh, this is different. I want to be with my Worcesters, my, my secret sauce, and uh, we want to focus fire together. So uh, that's like the, the strategy we went with, um, you know, staying together and focus firing to get the, the most out of our, you know, our ships. So the first enemy we see here is the Henri IV or the Henry IV and uh, yeah, instant fire <laughs> and soon everybody's going to open up and he, he quickly turns back. I, I, I think that was a wise decision. I'm actually kind of impressed he just sailed in like that, uh, knowing there was four enemy Worcesters. Um, I guess he thought he could outrun our shells, which is, well, that's definitely doable. Um, <laughs> the Worcester shells are suborbital, and you can see us just missing completely. Um, so he gets away, but here we go. I don't know why they did this, you saw it in the montage too. These BBs, they, they couldn't help themselves to be pushing in. And this Yamato here, he is going to be a perfect example of what this is all about. I mean, I, the whole Discord call right now was just laughing and flipping out. We were completely blown away at how, how you know, unfair and obnoxious this is when it works. Just look at the shells. It, it's literally just raining shells on the Shimado. He died so fast. Uh, of course, there was torpedoes as well, but look at this. He's already gone. And now there's a Drake. Um, he actually does a pretty good job of dodging, I would say. Um, but yeah, he makes a mistake, and that's the thing everybody should be aware of. And it's it's like a warning. You're never safe in the smoke against a Daka ship like the Worcester or Colbert. You will always, like, there will all be, always be shells coming your way, and one of them is going to hit you. And if you get set on fire, as you can see here, yeah, you, we can see you, dude. You're, you're, you're not getting away. Um, and you see the map, we're all just activating our radars, no, no DD can get close to us. Uh, it's, it's... While we were playing this, uh, we didn't have success every game. No, definitely not, especially me since I haven't I hadn't played in a week uh, when we did this. I was pretty rusty, but my teammates carried me through most of the games, so thank you for that, guys. I have to say a sp like a huge thanks to Sekmaster, Nautilus, and Edward Kenway. Because you guys were there to uh, support me in this stupid idea that I had. Um, also, of course, Edwin Levi for uh, you know joining in on this obnoxious idea. Um, I don't think he did it voluntarily, but yeah, you're in for it now, and I, I hope you enjoyed your time. So you can just see that we're cycling radars. They <laughs> they have no chance, and uh, this Benham here. Well, the Venom is, is hard to kill with a Worcester at range, but a Vermont isn't when there's four of us. And this guy, I mean, I don't know why, why he's pushing this way in a Vermont, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, the, the, the Vermont is so slow that even with suborbital shells, you can, yeah, you can hit him. And at this point I was screaming, everybody shoot the Vermont now! And yeah, now it comes. I think the, the I think the DACA of three Worcesters is, is gonna hit his, hit this guy soon. Yeah, here we go. There's two chiming in. Yeah, yeah, he's he's dying very fast. I was actually hoping we could save our Monty here, but I think he's too low for that because there's also a Minotaur on his on his port side. 
But yeah, this Vermont is just, he's melting away. Just look at this. It's not death by a thousand cuts, it's death by a thousand stabs. Like, <laughs> the Worcester has pretty good guns. It's not like the Colbert where it's, you know, 100 damage on a GK every time. No, this is almost 250 with a good fire chance as well. And the AP is not bad. The AP is, you should definitely remember to use it. So, the Vermont went down and now I have this Benham to uh, take care of. And, uh, I mean, I <laughs> I don't like shooting at DDs with the Worcester. It's it's pretty hard, and i played this ship a lot. It's my most played ship, um, so, I mean, I should be able to hit, but, you know, when you have time off from the Worcester, you just completely forget how slow the shells are. But yeah, a Minotaur uh, stationary behind an island, thinking he's safe. Yeah, you're not safe. <laughs> this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna really hurt soon because the Worcester's AP versus Minotaur, it's, it's no, there's no chance for the Minotaur. Um, the, the Minotaur is completely countered by the Worcester, in my opinion, because the Worcester has Hydro to dodge Torps, and it has a radar to find him in that smoke. So, if you're in a Minotaur and you see a Worcester at close range, I would not take the fight. Just, uh, just advice, because this guy, look at him, yeah, <laughs> he died very quick. So, the Benham is still alive, and we have 107,000 damage. I just want to say, like I told you guys, I did not play uh, at my A game in these these games that we had, but this was the best game and I was lucky enough that it was also the quadruple booster game. So I mean, I guess the stars aligned, but yeah, also against Benham's, no problem at close range. You can see it's easy to hit, but once they get out, you know, past those 8 kilometers, it's, it's tricky. It's really tricky. We also managed to avoid his torpedoes somewhat. Um, I think we dodged three sets and got hit by two, but I mean, that's not bad. And at this point, the game is over. Um, there's not really much left for us to do. Uh, we, we, we did pretty well, I'd say. And it was undoubtedly one of the most fun gaming sessions I've ever had in the Worcester. If you guys ever want to join me in these uh, shenanigans, I post about it on my Discord and everybody's welcome. There's no skill level. Get in there, join up, it's so much fun, guys. Okay, people, this has uh, been Daka Dudes Episode 2. I really hope you enjoyed the video. We, uh, Me and my fleet mates certainly had a lot of fun playing this. And to the guys that helped me with the, getting the footage and, you know, just all around having a ton of fun, thank you so much. You know who you are. And um, I just have one more thing to say. If you see the DACA dudes out there, and you're in a Colombo, please, just run. There's no reason to even try. We're, we're going for you. We're all cruiser players and DD mains in DACA dudes, and I can tell you one thing. We like destroying Colombos. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much, and uh, have a good weekend. My name has been Bubloon, signing off.